ओके वेलकम बैक एवरीवन वेलकम टू अवर न्यू लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ एसएसबी इंटरव्यू प्रेजेंटेड बाय मी महेश बनकर एंड आई होप यू ऑल आर सेफ एंड फाइन इन द होम सो सो फार वी हैव कंप्लीटेड जस्ट अ सेकंड सो फार वी हैव कंप्लीटेड थीमेटिक परसेप्शन टेस्ट वर्ड एसोसिएशन टेस्ट सिचुएशन रिएक्शन टेस्ट एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू फिनिश द फाइनल टेस्ट ऑफ एसएसबी इंटरव्यू साइकोलॉजी दैट इज सेल्फ डिस्क्रिप्शन टेस्ट सो i think everybody is there everybody is here there was some urgent issues that's why i had to uh, peep on the lecture half an hour before so that's why maybe some participants are not there but i have properly mentioned that into the message which i have sent into the group so let's begin with the lecture so self description test what is self description test it is nothing but self description test is a final test in psychological test in this test you are required to write down following in the given answer sheet so it is the final test in which you have to write down what my parents think about me what my teachers think about me what my friends think about me and what i think about myself and qualities i would like to improve in me these are the questions which you have to answer within 15 minutes the question are again i repeat what my parents think about me what my teachers think about me what my friends think about me what i think about myself and qualities i would like to improve in me so for this you are given 15 minutes to answer the above question so you have to answer in five different paragraphs about the, uh, answering those five questions so in this test the assessor gives you a chance to assess yourself assessor checks how well you know about yourself see this is the only i'm sorry this is the only test in which tejvir good evening this is the only test in which you are given a chance to present yourself understood you are given a chance to tell about yourself understand and kisi bhi other ssb ke test mein you will never get a chance to ex express about you to express about uh, your qualities directly so use this chance utilize this chance okay so following points you should follow to write a good self description so how to write a good self description we will discuss it first of all write the self description in the sequential flow as told by the officer so the immediately the officer will brief you about the self description test as you will get 15 minutes to write down what your parents think about you what your friends think about you Uh, sorry what do your parents think about you what do your teachers think about you what do your friends think about you what do you think about yourself and qualities you would like to improve this is the sequence of the self description test and write down the answers in the same sequence do not miss the sequence okay next is write a brief and to the point self description do not write unnecessary sentences what they have asked you what do your parents think about you understand so directly answer what they think about you my parents think that i am a responsible hard working and self reliant uh, self reliant son of them uh, and they think that these are good points in me they think that these are bad bad points in me so whatever it is write down do not write down unnecessary sentences next is finish the self description in given time hence write fast without thinking but neat and clean again every time this advice is continue that write neat and clean given time mein khatam karna hai finish the self description in given time because five paragraphs 15 minutes so uh, approximately 3 minutes for each paragraph so finish that answer within 3 minutes understand next is do not hide anything write an honest but acceptable response kuch bhi hide mat karo khud ke bare mein but of course acceptable likho like i like to like if uh, it doesn't happen with candidates generally but if you like to if you are an alcoholic you like to drink alcohol so it is not the thing to mention here like in the in order to be honest with yourself or it be honest with the ssb right like uh, quality uh, things i uh, what you think about yourself you will write down uh, i like to drink alcohol every day or every week and these are the things which i like so these are some unacceptable things which you should not write in the responses i am not saying You, these are the bad things what i'm saying is these are these are not supposed to get into your self description test self description test is nothing but the qualities which you have you think understood 
Next is do not write ideal strong points which you do not have. Most of the time, what we do is we try to write the points which are borrowed from other candidates, or we try to write the things which we do not have because just to improve, impress the uh, board. But believe me, they are the people who have the experience of assessing thousands, lakhs of candidates. So, unke samne to aap jhoot nahi bol sakte. Okay. So, do not write idealistic strong point which you do not have. Okay. Next is do not write unacceptable weak points like I am uh, like. Uh, I have a habit of smoking. I have a habit of uh, imid I, I judge very quickly kind of things. Understand? These are some unacceptable weak points like I get angry very quickly. Okay? Of course, most of, most of us are quite short-tempered, but writing that down and uh, pointing that particular bad point will not go into your favor. Next is, do not neglect your strong and weak points. Okay? You have to know about your strong and weak points. Next is, be very smart while writing the answer. Mention OLQ inside you indirectly. Understand? We will see in the uh, sample uh, self-description that how to uh, convey your OLQs indirectly. If you have them, huh? if you have them. Next is, you should be able to reflect all the strong and weak points in other tests too. Very important. What is it? You should be able to reflect all the strong and weak points in all other tests too. Hence, best way to write a good self-description is be honest so that you won't need to care about you did words and thoughts. So be honest while writing the answer. Do not fake anything and do not you know neglect anything which you have and you are not writing. Understand? Do not can contradict with the stories in TAT, sentences in VAT, and reaction in SRT. Which means, jo aap ho, wo personality, if you have already shown into the TAT, VAT, SRT, you don't need to worry about writing your honest response about yourself in self-description. But if you have performed separately in the test, in the TAT, you have just written, wrote the uh, story just for the sake of writing the stories, uh, sentences in the VAT just for the sake of writing the sentences and reaction in the SRT just to impress how good you are in those situations. Every time you are contradicting your performance and finally your self-description self will not go into your favor. I think those who, have, who are with us from the first lecture uh, about the psychology, we have discussed this. We have discussed that cir circle. You should be very clear in the thematic apperception test, then only uh, your qualities will be assessed in the TAT. Those qualities will be reconfirmed in the VAT, again reconfirmed in the SRT, and finally in your SDT, the file will be closed. Understood? And you will be get recommended by the psychologist. So keep that in mind. So what should be the content of your self-description? Gather true responses from your parents, teachers, friends, colleagues, employers, etc. Talk to them. Take the feedback positively and try to improve them. So best way, what I will say you, everybody, jo parent, aapke parents ko call kijiye, ask them that what are the good points they feel about you and what are the bad points they feel about you and why they feel good points about you and why they feel bad points about you. Every time you should take justification from them. For example, if they are saying that you are a hardworking person, why they think that you are a hardworking person? Take that, take that thing from you, from them, so that you will be able to uh, give the justifications every time. Ask your friends that, what do you think that good points in me? Of course, friends generally will tell you the bad points about you, but of course, they know how good you are and how bad you are, right? So take the opinion from your friends, ask them the justification. Why do you think that I am a, I am a good friend of yours? Or why do you think that I am a helping person? Somewhere you must have helped them. Take that take that point into consideration and write down your uh, what your friends about you similarly go for your teachers who you must be uh, uh, you, there must be a good teacher who can know you and you can ask them sir what do you sir ma'am what do you think about me what good things you can uh, you see in me what bad things you see in me why you see that good points and why you see that bad points understand take that entire data and your self description is prepared nothing extra you have to you know work for the self description Number 10, do not provide false information. The information provided by you should not get contradicted by PIQ form, which you have already filled. Understand? 
PI, in PIQ form also, most of the times, your personality will be assessed direct, indirectly. So do not contradict your personality with your PIQ form. Next is, ask them about example justification about each comment. You will come to know where you have displayed your OLQs and where you do not display them. So generally, when you will be talking with your colleagues, with your friends, with your parents, you can ask them, sir, why do you think that I have these qualities? And why do you think I do not have these qualities? So uh, they will show that in some incidences, you have done these good things. So I feel that this is, for example, this, they say that you are a brave person, right? Your friends say that you are a brave person for them. So there must be some incidences where, where you must have shown your courage, right? Take that, take that data and indirectly your OLQ of courage will be mentioned. Understood? So your whole life will be nothing but the uh, displays of your officer-like qualities. Understood? And this can be summarized from those five paragraphs, which you will gather from the people into your life, your parents, your teacher, your friends, yourself. And of course, you know about the qualities which you would like to improve. Next is write valid and true response as interviewing officer use your sdt answer answer sheets and piq understand before you enter in the interview the i uh, sorry this is io interviewing officer this q was by mistake io does a study about you with the help of above two documents hence do not fake the description the question coming from io will be for checking the presence of those qualities you have mentioned about yourself this means that your self description and your inter, uh, self description and your PIQ personal information questionnaire is nothing but the data which is given by you to this to the SSB, and that data will be utilized by the interviewing officer prior to your interview, and he will make a small picture about you, right? And he will try to ask them question around that uh, inter, uh, you know PIQ form and self description and confirm it. For example, uh, into a question. Like uh, he will ask you in the uh, he will ask you in the uh, personal interview that tell me Avinash who is your best friend Avinash tell Avinash will tell that uh, Nitin is his best friend so there another question will come that if I ask Nitin about you what will be he what will he tell me about you what what are the two good things he will tell me about you and what are the two bad things he will tell me about you so these two good things and bad things should match with your you know self description in the question in the answer of the question that what your friends think about you. Understood? So, this circle kahi na kahi complete ho jata hai in SSB interview whenever you write something in the PIQ form or self-description test. Understood? So, this is something which is very necessary for you to understand about the self-description test. Next is, do not describe your history, family background, etc. Write to the point self-description about you, yeah, yeah, very important. You have to write down what the thing, description about you. You don't have to write down the background and all the things, understand? Next point is, do not write more than five to six lines about each description. Be very brief, be very short, okay? Whatever you will write, that will be true. And they will assume it that whatever you are writing, it is the truth. Of course, they will confirm it that are you lying or not, but Assumption to yehi rahega that you are telling them and that's why that is the truth. Understood? Next is, do not co copy someone else's self-description. Every person is different, remember. Ye wali galti jo hai na, ye 19th wala point, never do this in the SSB. What we do generally before the psychological test, we generally gather, uh, gather um, you know, we, we gather uh, outside the testing hall. So, we we try, we we share some thoughts with our friends. Iska kaisa kiya preparation, uska kaisa kiya preparation. And some candidates, uh, they have written their self-description earlier. Unhone wo khud ka banaya hua rata hai. So, hum just check karte ki what they have written. And we feel that, arre, yaar, iska self-description kitna sahi hai. It's very good self-description. And iske kuch points to mere se match ho jate. So, why shouldn't I borrow the points from him? Aur yehi pe sabse badi galti aap kar doge. Understood? Never write self-description from anybody else's self-description. Kabhi bhi aap kisi bhi ideal self-description ko dekho mat. Whatever you feel about you, write down wholeheartedly. That's all the best thing I can tell you about the self-description. Understood? Kisi ka bhi self-description copy karna nahi hai. 
ओके ये कमेंट सेक्शन में डाल दो आई वॉन्ट कॉपी एनी बडी सेल्फ डिस्क्रिप्शन आई वॉन्ट कन्फर्मेशन फ्रॉम यू ये ये कमेंट सेक्शन में डाल दो कि आई एम आई एम नॉट गोन कॉपी एनी बडी सेल्फ डिस्क्रिप्शन इन माई एस एस बी चलो टेल मी क्विक Tell me in the chat section. I am not gonna copy anybody else's self description. Write down. Yes, Avinash, very good. I won't copy any other self description in my SSB. Great. Chalo, sab, everyone. Chalo, Ajay, Lavina, Niket, Prabhat, Ritesh, Tejveer, Udit, everyone. Yes, Ajay, very good. ये पॉइंट समझ जाना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है यू हैव टू मेंशन इट इन द चैट सेक्शन ये सुदित वेरी गुड डोंट कॉपी यस प्रभात वेरी गुड यस ऑफ कोर्स आई वोट कॉपी ऑफ दिस यस रितेश वेरी गुड ओके सो दैट वाज क्वाइट एक्सरसाइज लेट्स गो फॉर अदर लेट्स गो फॉर नेक्स्ट पॉइंट ओके चलो डू नॉट राइट ओ एल क्यूज एज योर डायरेक्ट क्वालिटीज Uh, OLQ assessment is result of your test. Uh, yes, Tejveer, very good. See, do not write officer-like qualities as your direct qualities. Like my parents think that I am a, a intelligent person and I have a very good organizing ability, and they also feel that I have a uh, I have a good power of expressions. Then my friends think that I have a good social responsibility and ability to influence group. Uh, my my teachers think that I have a good quality of initiative. i have a good quality of self confidence courage and stamina and what i feel is remain the officer like qualities you will write down never do that your olqs should be assessment of your test understand these are not the things which you are mentioning in directly into your any of your responses not even in the tad stories wat responses srds reactions and the self descriptions descriptions understand so i hope i have made my point clear chalo next the self description must display a high level of truth okay positivity and will to overcome shortcomings inside you if you have any understood aapka wo jazba wo junoon everything should be you know it should be displayed from your self description understand so from a recommended women candidate of uh, one of my student who had recommended uh, for the uh, cds examination let's discuss a sample response of recommended candidate uh, it's a woman candidate but of course a male candidate woman candidate doesn't matter okay you just have to understand how a recommended candidate can write a self description like for my parents what my parents think about me see i am an independent and responsible that person is doing job okay that's why she has written this i am an independent and responsible girl as i had taken care of my luxury expenses by myself for from third year of graduation the thing that i am competent and i can adjust according to situation at times they feel i neglect my health and want to consistently take care of it understood char se paanch lines simply completed no complication nothing understand and some qualities like independent person responsible person right take care of luxury expenses so here responsibility is shown understand uh competent enough so some intelligence is also shown here understand so these are the things which are indirectly mentioned uh as the officer like qualities from the parent side so i think this is clear to you so let's see next point what the what teachers think about her okay my teachers just a second okay my teachers appreciate my grasping skills and like my balance between academics and extracurricular performance as i had been college captains of captain of basketball team and at the same time one of my colleagues uh i'm sorry at the same time i'm sorry college csc topper i'm sorry uh, they find me dedicated and responsible for leading task and they advise me to just a second they advise me less or confident and be more outspoken i'm sorry there was some problem i will repeat this uh, self -desc description of this candidate
my teachers think that uh, so my teacher appreciate my grasping grasping skills and like my balance between academics and extracurricular performances as i had been college captain of basketball team and at the same time one of the college csc toppers they find me dedicated and responsible for leading tasks they advise me to be less over confident and be more outspoken simple isme coach bhi complication nahi hai indirectly the officer like qualities like grasping skill so intelligence reasoning reasoning is very reasoning is very related to your grasping okay uh, like my balance between academics and extracurricular activities so initiative self confidence social adaptability and all the qualities uh, are indirectly displayed here I, as i have been a college captain of basketball team so as she has indirectly mentioned about the uh, sports activity extracurricular activity and see you know i'll tell you one thing sports is the only thing in our life i repeat sports is the only thing in our life which develops all officer like qualities again i repeat my sentence sports is the only thing in our life which directly improves all our officer like qualities every officer like qualities can be improved by the sports understand so if you are not playing anything at least start running every morning okay one of my colleagues csc topper and so she has mentioned that she is a csc computer science engineering topper so indirectly intelligence has been mentioned okay they find me dedicated and responsible so indirectly other officer like qualities of social responsibilities are mentioned here so and of course should be less over confidence and more outspoken are the things which can be improved by some efforts so i hope this is clear to you so ye srt ki ppt copy ho gayi chalo friends what my friends think about me my friends say i am an enthusiastic creative and that i strive learning and exploring whatever comes to me they feel that i am a good listener and a positive person they like my attitude of speaking my mind fearlessly they think i should be less strict on people where they break promises okay so this is something a unique officer uh, sorry this is something unique uh, self description about friends so i think i have already cleared about how the you know officer like qualities have grasped from the self description but you can see my friends say that i am enthusiastic creative and strive learn strive for learning and exploring whatever comes to me so this is nothing but the quality of officer officer should have these qualities enthusiasm creativity learning new things whatever comes to you and these indirectly mention all your officer like qualities of your mind heart guts understand and they feel that i am a good listener so it shows your social uh, qualities they like my attitude of speaking my mind fearlessly so these are also some good social skills and they think i should be less strict on people when they break promises so these are the things which they feel so indirectly the bad points have been mentioned in such a way that that is not exactly the bad point understand okay next point and about yourself i think i am a fast learner and love exploring my curiosities i continuously try to be better independent and efficient to help myself and others i always try to be helping hand especially towards my junior as at time of for example hackathons i have diverted my opportunities towards my juniors to benefit them so she has mentioned some example here i agree that i am intolerant to lies and i am improving to stay calm in such situation when i know someone is lying understand so in this also the candidate have indirectly mentioned most of the qualities like fast learner love exploring and this quality of fast learning is continuously you know shown by the friends teachers and parents so better independent efficient okay uh, empathetic towards juniors these are some qualities which an officer have okay so next point so how would i like to be means the things i would like to improve these are i want to be influential and inspirational i want to serve the society and be consistent in the task i can take up to be physically fit i have started following health routines to remain calm during unpleasant situation i have been practicing yoga and reading books so these are the simple things which you can you want to improve and you can improve understand 
so i hope i have made the point clear to you that how should be your self description see unless and until you haven't shown your actual officer like qualities in tat mat srt na this self description doesn't matter at all you should be very consistent i i am telling you continuously you should be consistent in your performance of tat vat srt sdt and consistent in the sense of consistent displaying original qualities that's it and then self description will be considered understand so it is nothing but the two way communication aap tat vat srt mein sab aapke bare mein display kar rahe ho on sr sdt mein khud ke bare mein bol bhi rahe ho agar wo match ho gaya that's the sone pe suhaga understood chalo so thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share this channel uh, this is the ssb lecture presented by me mahesh bankar and thank you so much so is there any question you have you can ask me right now so this is we have completed self description test isse zyada self description test mein kuch hai bhi nahi aur kuch hona bhi nahi chahiye understand chalo any question please raise your hand and i will ask that person what is the question anyone have any question not at all tejwir okay chalo ajay what is your question sir how to analyze ourselves sir i told you na you just simply uh, make a chart write down like parents teachers friends and uh, you then uh, write down positive and negative and ask each and every one sabko pucho na phone kar kar ke pucho sare friends ko pucho what do you think would mera aisa aisa ssb interview hai i have i have to write this in my self description tell me good things and tell me bad things about me simple and why you think that these are the things these are the good things about me and why you think these are the bad things about me ye ek bar wo map ban gaya na ajay ऑटोमेटिकली आपको क्लियर हो जाएगा कि व्हाट आर द गुड थिंग्स इन यू एंड व्हाट आर द बैड थिंग्स एंड ये इतना बड़ा रॉकेट साइंस नहीं है खुद को कैसे पहचानना एंड ऑल द थिंग्स सी यू नो यू नो हु आर यू ओके आप कौन हो आपको समझ जाता है सो फार पी आई फॉर्म पढ़ लो आप खुद का उसमें सब मेंशन है आपने अब तक क्या क्या चीजें अच्छी की है यू मस्ट बी गुड इन अकेडमिक्स यू मस्ट बी गुड इन स्पोर्ट्स यू मस्ट बी गुड इन मेकिंग फ्रेंड्स यू मस्ट बी गुड विथ फ्रेंड्स का आप किस एरिया में आप अच्छे हो किस एरिया में अच्छे नहीं हो आप राइट बस वो सारी चीजें लिखो ऑटोमेटिकली पिक्चर क्लियर हो जाएगा ओके ओके सर थैंक यू सर यस अजय चलो प्रभात इज आस्किंग सर व्हाट इफ माय पेरेंट्स थिंक दैट आई एम यूजलेस एंड दे डोंट हैव एनी एक्सपेक्टेशन बट आई नो आई विल प्रूव देम रॉन्ग सो सो सी ये सीरियस नोट पे तो पूछो ना उनको ये मुझे लिखना है ये मुझे एग्जाम में लिखना है आप सीरियस नोट को नोट में पूछ के तो देखो चलो यूजलेस में यूजलेस में क्या लगता है वो भी तो पूछो यूजलेस हो मतलब कहीं ना कहीं पे तो उन्होंने टेस्ट किया होगा ना आपको राइट right? सबके पेरेंट्स को लगता है वो उनका बच्चा यूजलेस है ओके डोंट टेक इट पर्सनली ओके और इग्नोर करते जाओ ऐसे ऐसे चीजों को इग्नोर करते जाओ ओके तो यूजलेस लोगों ने ये चीजें बनाई है बड़ी चलो एनी बड़ी है मैंने क्वेश्चन किसी और को क्वेश्चन है चलो लविना यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन माधव निकेत प्रभात रमा देवी रितेश तेजवीर उदित शर्मा डू यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन नो नॉट एन इश्यू इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर यूपीएससी सिंस लास्ट फोर इयर देन यू आर नॉट यूजलेस यू आर डूइंग समथिंग ग्रेटर देन लाइफ एंड यूपीएससी इज वर्थ यूपीएससी इज वर्थ गिविंग दैट अमाउंट ऑफ लाइफ बिलीव मी ओके सो यू आर नॉट डूइंग एनीथिंग रॉन्ग आपने कुछ अच्छा किया होगा so you, there must be some good points in your academics right next is aapne uh, so far aapke uh, sports mein kuch kiya hoga so there you must be good in some sports you must be good in some qualities aapne so far kisi logo voluntarily kuch kiya hoga jaise ki here ritesh ghodke is here one of my students he is he is so he was socially active in entire his uh, so far uh, uh, academic year he was 
active in the nss right so he have very good amount of uh, bunch of things to write down in the uh, social skills right so kuch na kuch to aapne kiya hoga na ab kuch bhi nahi kiya wo bhi koi problem nahi simply parents ko kuch achhi cheeze lagti hogi aapke bare mein friends ko kuch achhi cheeze lagti hogi aapke bare mein right utni hi likh do koi problem nahi dekho self description test need not to be something extraordinary account about yourself self description test is a simple sir. account about yourself understood sir ha niket what would i like to write a bad personality about self about i'm i'm not getting your question myself hindi mein puchho myself what would i sir hum kya likh sakte hain apne bare mein jise ek bad personality likhna rahta na ki ha गुड पर्सनालिटी लिखो तो है बैड पर्सनालिटी क्या है तो हम बैड पर्सनालिटी में क्या लिखे हम क्यों किसी को अपना बैड पर्सनालिटी बताए तो मत लिखो तो सर कैसे तो मत लिखो वहां तो सर वहां पर लिखना रहता है तो हम क्या लिखे जो न्यूट्रल टाइप का हो दिस इज वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन हम ये पूछना चाहते हैं कि वो न्यूट्रल टाइप का हो कि उससे अगर लग रहा है कि हां इसका बैड पर्सनालिटी है लेकिन वो रियली नहीं हो इस टाइप का कुछ न्यूट्रल टाइप का यस ये थोड़ा ये क्वेश्चन स्मार्ट भी है एंड ये ये क्वेश्चन रियल भी है ओके यू मस्ट हैव यू ऑल मस्ट हैव द क्वेश्चन सर बैड चीजें मुझे लगती ही नहीं कुछ लिखनी चाहिए तो मैं क्यों लिखूं तो मत लिखो इट्स ऑल ओके दैट्स व्हाट आई एम सेइंग नहीं 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 ऐसा कुछ नहीं वी हैव टू वी हैव टू राइट नो 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 इट इज नॉट द रूल अगेन आई एम टेलिंग यू देयर इज नो राइट एंड रॉन्ग आंसर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एंड देयर इज नो रूल दैट यू शुड राइट बैड आल्सो एंड यू शुड राइट आप अगर लग आपको लगता है फॉर एग्जांपल इन द इंटरव्यू दे विल आस्क मी दे विल आस्क यू हु इज योर फेवरेट टीचर you must you will say sir i do not have any favorite teacher so that's okay na uh, you uh, they will ask you who what is your, what is your favorite subject then aisa koi subject shayad hoga bhi nahi ki aapka favorite hona hi chahiye so ye question kafi acha tha aapka ki it is not necessary to write down bad things aapko agar lagte hi nahi hai because it is you who are writing understand but of course ekha dusri bad cheez to har ek mein hoti hi hoti hai to agar aapka question ye hai ki kaun si bad cheeze aapne likhni chahiye तो आप लिखो ना जो आपके जो आप में बैड चीजें हैं जैसे कि आपको किसी चीज के बारे में अच्छा नहीं लगता है जैसे कि वो रिकमेंडेड कैंडिडेट ने लिखा है कि आई डोंट लाइक पीपल व्हेन दे लाइ टू मी एंड आई गेट वेरी एंग्री ऑन देम सो फ्रेंड्स के कॉलम ने उन्होंने वो लिख दिया अबाउट अबाउट हिमसेल्फ और हर सेल्फ दे थिंक दैट हेल्थ दे डू नॉट कॉन्सेंट्रेट मोर ऑन हेल्थ सो उन्होंने लिख दिया दैट आई शुड बी आई शुड वर्क मोर ऑन माई हेल्थ सो ऐसी कुछ चीजें होती है ना जो बैड होने जो आपके आप में बुरी है यू हैव दैट बैड क्वालिटीज बट कैन बी इम्प्रूव by certain efforts and which do not hamper your profession understand aise bad qualities likh do to bhi koi problem nahi ye question kafi acha tha aapko lagta hai nahi likhna hai to mat likh understand yes sir okay chalo i think everybody thank you, sir. yes you welcome niket i think everybody is okay okay thank you so much for being in the lecture so kal hum uh, kal ka lecture i had sent okay tejwir i will check your self description test and let you know okay okay so kal ka kal ka lecture very very important pptt okay kal screening pptt kaise karni hai pura ka pura discuss karenge kal lecture extend bhi ho gaya to bhi i think you should not you all should not mind okay kal pptt khatam ho jayega to hamara pura screening khatam ho jayega day after tomorrow we will start with the uh, gto every bit hum khatam karte jayenge अभी बाद में तो हम ऐसा करेंगे कि दो बीट एक दिन में खत्म कर देंगे ओके ओके प्रभात इज आस्किंग हाउ कैन आई कॉन्टेक्ट यू प्रभात माय नंबर आई एम टाइपिंग इन द चैट बॉक्स यू कैन कॉन्टेक्ट मी ऑन दिस नंबर ओके चलो सो आई होप एवरीवन हैव अंडरस्टूड व्हाट आई वांटेड टू कन्वे थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर बींग इन द लेक्चर वील मीट दैट नंबर व्हाट्सएप नंबर yes that is my whatsapp number 2 chalo so thank you everyone kal milte hain bye bye good night thank you sir